Labels get in the way. Disabilities rarely do. Visit thinkbeyondthelabel.com to evolve your workforce. There is growing anger out there among independents, and CNN's David Mattingly visited Kentucky, where some are tired of two-party rule and are fighting back. Take a look. As an independent voter with two small children and a mortgage to worry about, 26-year-old Mike Lewis has a common complaint. He feels like his concerns are drowned out by partisan bickering. These politicians talk about problems, but they, they're only keen on one solution. Do you feel like you're being left out? Of course. There's no, uh, there's no connection anymore. So Lewis is taking matters into his own hands. I'm tagging along to see what happens as he drives his pickup to the state capital of his home state, Kentucky, hoping to give independents a bigger voice. Okay, what's the plan? Well, the plan is just to uh, talk to as many senators as I can. Senator Leeper, how you doing, sir? Try to get as many people on the ground as I can, wrestle them down if I have to. Lewis is only partly kidding about a fight. He wants to overturn the state's closed primary system, a system that excludes tens of thousands of independent voters from primaries. And he knows he's about to hit a nerve. What you're saying is, I don't like the way America runs its political system. Well, if you don't like untrue. it, move to another country. That's, that's untrue, Senator. Don't you want to talk to me about something real instead of these false truths that you're spreading? The way it works right now in Kentucky, you have to register as a Republican or a Democrat before you can vote in a party primary. 17 other states have the same system. If you're an independent voter, you're not allowed to vote until the general election. Democratic state senator and former Kentucky governor Julian Carroll thinks independents should pick a party. If they want a party, fine, we'll create them a party, and then they can have their own party Ind that believes in their own principles. Independents don't want to have their own party. They I want, care they less want what to they vote want. for Republicans I'm and Democrats. I'm telling you how we operate a democracy in America, David. We operate a, a democracy in America with the two-party system. You're trying to destroy the two-party system in America, Sir. and I'm not going to be a part of it. End of this conversation. You went on record saying I'm trying to start a party. There is no party here, sir. I'll see you on the floor, Senator. I appreciate it. And just a few hours later, there was a vote in the state Senate. With it, another surprise. There's a little bit of irony here. The bill seems to be split down party lines. Most Democrats, led by Carroll, opposed opening primaries to independents. Most Republicans, holding the majority, voted yes. This is strictly about letting an individual, an independent, a little lie, get out there in the primary and be a part of the process. And David Mattingly joining us now live. And David, you know, listening to that anger, is this really a growing movement there? Well, it's in its infancy. It's a grassroots movement. It's uh, called uh, Independent Kentucky. And uh, this man we were following around was the head of that organization. It's all very organic from the bottom up. He's just, uh, he's got something he wants to accomplish. And you see he was taking upon himself to go there and lobby for this idea that he has. Uh, we went to a meeting of this organization. They filled up a couple of tables at a local restaurant. So they don't have a lot of funding. They don't have a lot of support. But they do have an idea and they are motivated to do something about it. And David, why did the vote for opening up primaries break down? D down party right, lines. Yeah. Well, that's because uh, there's a majority of the uh, registered voters in Kentucky, over 60% are registered Democrats. And for that party, it just doesn't make sense to upset the status quo. The Republicans might see that a little bit differently. You didn't hear that coming up in the debate on the floor. Everyone that was supporting the current system was doing so out of tradition. They were saying, this is the way we've always done it. If you want to vote uh, for a Democratic candidate in a primary, you should be a Democrat. So they have this uh, traditional argument and now it's going to go to the House in Kentucky where the Democrats have the majority there. So it, it's sort of up in the air. It, it, we're not really sure how this is going to go. All right, David Mattingly for us tonight. David, thanks so much. And, and coming up, everybody, uh, we have some breaking news in those Arizona sweat lodge deaths last fall. Self-help guru James Ray has been arrested.